Hello boys and girls, ladies and gents, this is the OMG WTF Productions, also known as Smurfs from GoAnime. And this is another tutorial I'm making, as you can see. And this one is about an effect about blurring. The blur effect. The city blur effect, or whatever the heck you want to call it. And today, well, I'm going to, this is how it's going to start off right now, alright? Um, you'll have to start off with your background, um, any background. You can make your own, you can use some something from the GoAnime Studio, you can use freaking... A picture from Google. I don't care. Um, well, first of all, you just need a freaking background. That's all you need. But um, what you'll need next is something that screen caps, and you'll have to get something that screen that can fit around this circle right here with the studio. You know, this right here. Yeah, you you see it. Yeah, you can see it. All right. So what you'll need to do is you'll need to get that around that. Make sure this camera thing is not in the way. Just do something to get out get it out of the way. I don't care. Just like probably move it to the side, um, and then you, of course you just screen cap your background, and this is this is where it gets fun. All right, you can go to the site called Footer or any other site that works, any site, any other site that works with photo editing, Photoshop for Christ's sakes, Photoshop can work. Or if you just want to be lazy like me, just go to this site, Footer, because um, this site will allow you to edit your photos faster than anything, even though you can use Photoshop instead. But it doesn't matter. So yeah. So as you can see here in Photor, um, it starts off with a, it gives you a sample picture right here. Now you will not need that unless you really need it. Um, I don't think you need it. So, um, so let's start off with our own photo. So let's get the photo that you just screen capped from the GoAnimate Studio. Um, as you can see, I list all my stuff in Bandicam, like this right here. All right, so here you have your photo. As you can see, I already edited it. I already edited it. Sorry for that. Um, I already edited it, so it looks blurry already. But um, it would it would look normal. So, but what you'll have to do, you'll have to go to this. Th you have to click on this potion thing, okay? Called effects, because it's it says new right there. Yeah. Um, well, you have to scroll down and go to tilt um, tilt dash shift, and it will bring you to this, and. Yeah, it gives you some tools like the radius size, aperture size. Now, the aperture size um, controls how blurry you want it. Like right now, I have it at like four or two, like probably two would be best. And um, I put the radius size all the way down. And then I'll take the radius and I'll move it to the side like that where it can't be seen. And then you're basically done. So you just go. Where is it? Oh yeah, you scroll up. You pretty much, oh right here. You basically just save it, and um, you apply, of course. And once you're done, you save and all your stuff, whatever, however you want to save it. And then when you're done, you um, import it as a prop. Do not import it as a background. <laughs> just listen to me now. If you import it as a background, um, yeah, you, you're not really gonna get anything off of it. So, um, but unless you really want to, I guess it's okay, but I would, I would recommend you importing it as a prop. <clears throat> so once you get, um, get it imported as a prop, it should come out like this, hang on, like this. Now you're going to need to adjust it, of course, hang on, like this. So, um, yeah, once you get it adjusted, it should look like this. Put it in the exact same place, um, your normal back, background will look and um, it should come out all cool like this and um, <clears throat> you can you can make any scene with this you can make it look cinematic you can just use it as a background itself you can do whatever you want what, what I did right here was make it look all cinematic and we're gonna preview in just a moment so yeah here you go here's the preview I will protect the city, even if it kills me. So there you go. Um, like I said before, this could work for any video, not just um, dramatic videos or anything. This could work for literally anything. So yeah, there you go. That's the video. That's the tutorial, I guess. <laughs> so if you want to see more tips and tricks to video making on GoAnimate, then subscribe to my channel. I'll be making more tutorials in the future. Trust me, I'll be making a lot like probably lighting effects or just just a lot of things are going to be coming up soon. So see you guys later, I guess. Yeah, bye.